Welcome to Tech Jarers. Today I'm going to show you the process to install LM Studio, that is DRAWCAM version on Windows machine. Uh, I have AMD Radeon 6900XT, the GPU, which doesn't have the CUDA support. So I find the LM Studio DRAWCAM version and I tried it and I am surprised because I can run the Meta Llama 3 70 billion version on my Windows machine. And it's really awesome. So I will show you the process, how you can uh, install Rockem on your Windows PC. And you can install LM Studio Rockem and you can run Llama 3. First, I will show you the process to uh, upload the Llama 3, 8 billion model. And after that, I will run the 70 billion model so that you can see the differences. Of course, the 70 billion model is a little bit slower, but still it is so usable. So let's get started. This is a fresh Windows installation. So I didn't install anything except the drivers and OBS Studio, of course, to captured the screen and uh, first of all uh, you need to install your AMD Radeon driver. I downloaded it and install it. The next thing is I need to install the HIP SDK, HIP SDK for Radeon that will enable the ROCM capability. Okay so let's uh, search with this. So this is the place uh, I'm going to use Google and I will search for AMD Heap SDK. Let's search it and AMD Heap SDK for Windows. And here you can see the downloads. So for Windows 10 and 11, the Rockham version is 5.7.1. And there is another version 5.5.1. So I will go with the latest version, the 5.7.1. Just click here and accept it. And it will start downloading. So that's the first thing we need to do. I already installed the driver. So that's, uh, please do that. Uh, I tried with the driver, came with the SDK library. That is not that much good and it's a old driver so I installed the new one which is uh, which came out on April 24 so the next thing it's downloaded so I will open this okay and okay so it'll start initializing the installation by the way, I didn't install the pro version. I just installed the regular AMD driver. And then I'm starting with the heap SDK. So here, if you check this uh, window, you can see the heap SDK core 5.7.0 will be installed. There is additional option. You don't need to change anything, anything here. Heap ray tracing and heap runtime compiler libraries, everything is there. And here, please make sure you don't install the Pro 23Q4 version. I already have the driver, so I will not install it. And everything else is selected. So click install. So basically, I didn't change anything. I just go with the default settings. And it will take a little bit of time, and I will be back when it's done. OK, so it is done. Click on the Finish button. That's it, your ROCM is installed. The next thing is, okay, it's the driver version. I don't need to do anything here, just close it. And for the security purpose, I will restart my computer and do the next steps, okay? So I'm going to restart it and I will be back when it's done. Okay, so I'm back. I just restarted my computer, so now our ROCAM should work perfectly. The next thing is we need to download LM Studio. So if I search with Google, the 
LM Studio and go to the main page. Here, you will not find the Rockm version. So you can download the LM Studio for M1, M2, M3, LM Studio for Windows, LM Studio for Linux, but there is no option for the LM Studio Rockm. So if I go back to the search page here, it's not showing anything, so I will search with Rockm. Now you can see the LM Studio 0.2.22 with AMD Rockm. I need to download this. So if you go to the main page, you can see it's also 0.2.22 version. So the Rockm uh, LM Studio is also 0.2.22, so it's fine. And if you see here, it is showing that it is supporting GFX 1030, GFX 1100, and so on. So if you are using the RX 6000 series, I'm using 6900XT, that is 1030. And if you are using 7900XTX or XT, that should be GFX 1100. So uh, my one is supported. So I will download this LM Studio with Rockm. And so it's downloaded. I will start the installation process. Okay, so it is starting. The installation process is starting here. Just wait a few minutes. It should give you the prompt to install and it's done. That's fine. It's already installed. So it is installed in the uh, download directory. So if you want to uh, put it in a separate directory, just copy the downloaded file in your desired directory and run it. That's fine. So the next thing is I will search for, I will go to the search option and search for LLMA3, the latest one. I want to use the latest one. Okay. So in LM Studio, I found it. If you go to the LM Studio community version, that will be perfect. Uh, you can you can check anything, but if you select this, it will be it will work perfectly. So the LM Studio community version, eight billion version. If you click here, it will show you all the available downloads here, and of course, it will show you the uh, sign that it is fully supported. Full GPU offload is possible for this. And this is the compatibility guess. So from here, I can see, I can download the uh, quantization 8 version, which is the largest one. I can download it and run it because it's full GPU offload is possible. So I will download it. Uh, it will take some time to download. Uh, if you click here, you can see the process downloading uh, bar. So I will come back when it's done. Okay, so the file is downloaded. So it is now validating file integrity. It'll take another few moments to prepare this. Okay, now it's completed so we can use it. So if I just minimize this download part and go to the chat option and from here, if I select the model here and I will accept new system prompt, that's uh, it will change the system prompt. So it is loading the model and after loading the model, I will change the advanced settings For on the right side. If you go to there and minimize everything and see the advanced configuration, click here and go to the GPU settings and you can do max here because for 6900 XT GPU, I have a 16 gigabyte of VRAM and it's actually around 9 gigabyte or 8.14 gigabyte of uh, file. So I can fully offload it to the GPU. And after changing these settings, if I click on the reload model to apply configuration, I need to click here and it will, re uh, you know, reload the a model and it's prepared. So this is our first uh, prompt. So 
just I'm going to um, ask it to tell me a uh, jokes. Click enter and see it's super fast. It's really super fast and I don't know how the jokes is so here's one. Why could the bicycle why couldn't the bicycle stand by itself? Wait for it because it was too tired. I'm not sure whether it's really make me smile but it is working that's perfect so our next step is to download the 80 or 70 billion model so if i go to the search option and search with uh, llama 3 again i prefer the lm studio community version this is the meta llama 3 70 billion version click here and you can see it's really big Okay, so we're going to download the uh, Lama 3 70 billion version. So uh, I will go with the Q1 because the Q2 is much larger than our VRAM. So I will go and download this one. And if you click here, it will show you the process that it's downloading. And I will be back when it's downloaded. Okay, so the file is downloaded. It's a big file. So now if I go to the AI chat box and if I see the GPU offload, I will make it uh, around 80%. That's max, okay. Uh, I will use the max and if I select the larger version here and load model anyway, let's see whether it works or not. Okay, so it's loaded. That's perfect. If I just minimize the download option and uh, it is now using the 70 billion version, the quantization one, of course, the quantization two is way larger than our VRAM. So let's check. Uh, tell me a jokes. Now it'll definitely take more time than the 8 billion version, but it looks like still it will work. Okay, so give it a little bit time. And yeah, it's working. And what, from my experience, what I can say, like I'm running the background process, the OBS. If I close the OBS, it works much faster. Okay, so that's a uh, keep in mind. If you have uh, anything running background, if you close that, it will work more uh, efficiently. So it's really amazing. The 70 billion version of Llama 3 is working with uh, my older 6900 XT with Rockem. So LM Studio Rockem version is really a blessing for the AMD GPU users. And you can definitely use it and it, it is a little bit slower, but still you can use the 70 billion version, which can give you much depth on the, uh, you know, reply. So that's the biggest thing. And if I go here and see the other versions, I tried with this, the quantization two, it, it is not working with that. And the, Q4, it will not work. Definitely, it will not work. And in the uh, GPU offload part, if you see this, it will actually use 80%. The max will use 80% of your GPU. So it will not use the 16 gigabyte VRAM full. Okay, it will use 80% because your computer needs some resources. So it will, if it takes the like 16 gigabit of VRAM, your computer will not not run perfectly. So that's the point. Uh, it will take maximum is 80%. And with 80%, it works really great. And thank you, LM Studio, for giving us the option to run LM Studio with Rockem and in Windows, of course. That's really good for us. And thank you for watching this video. And if you like this video, 
And if you, you can check my other videos about Rockham and installing AI tools, if you like them, please like and subscribe. It will help me to grow this channel and give you more content like this. And have a good day. Bye.